Good afternoon guys, MC Crusty here for another two minute video. As part of a two minute series, if you don't know what a two minute series is about, check the video link below and you'll find out all about it. The topic of today, TVR. TVR is a sports car manufacturer in the UK. Um, got a bit of a dynamic history, like many uh, unique sports cars or you know motor vehicle brands that um, focus on a specific segment of the market. And TVR are certainly no different. They were actually got a lot of history around from when they were first introduced way back in the 60s, right through to um, around about 2010, 2011, through financial problems, they kind of disappeared. However, there's good news on the horizon, but I'll come to that. So TVR, what are they? So they're a sports car manufacturer that specifically devoted themselves to creating some kind of muscle car equivalent to the US. You know, so in the US, you got your Mustangs, Corvettes, and look, it's really not my normal sort of forte with Mark uh, understanding the vehicles but you know there's a couple of examples of everybody can relate to. The TVR Tuscan kind of did that for the UK market, sorry the TVR brand did that for the UK market. So during the 90s to the early 2000s um, TVR had probably four or five maybe even six different models. The ones that I remember the most were the TVR Griffith, the T350, TVR T350, the TVR Tuscan, and the TVR Segaris. Now, all those cars basically ranged from either a four liter up to a five liter V8, and they were powered by a Rover engine. Now, you can imagine, for those of you that know Rover, the reliability wasn't their forte. And they had a lot of electrical problems and they had a lot of engine problems. But that aside, they produced something that was absolutely amazing with raw power. It really was a true sports machine. I'll put up a couple of links and pictures and videos, etc., so you can really hear and get the idea for what these cars were. Now, in about 2010, the, the company basically went through a kind of liquidation. Um, I'm not sure of the exact details, but they had to shut up shop. They didn't have any money. They weren't making and producing any more cars. Now, the great news is, once again, I love when I do these videos sometimes because when I look and research some of the stuff that interested me in the past, I actually find out they've been saved. So they've actually been... Um, They've actually been saved by the Cosworth company. So the Cosworth company is basically a um, racing manufa parts manufacturer, engineering company in the UK that are notorious for the Ford Cosworth engine, which obviously provided the Sierra Cosworth, the Escort Cosworth, etc., in World Rally. Now, there's one other person, I forget his name now, he's a South African uh, Formula X, Formula One engineer, who's also come in to save the company and they're going into production in 2019. So I can't wait to see what they come out with. Anyway, so jumping back a wee bit, my favorite TVR was the TVR Tuscan. Now the TVR Tuscan, like all the TVRs, was built from a fiberglass um, body frame. Um, but it had a flick paint. There was a flick paint version which would flip between like a pearlescent blue to a yellow. I've chucked some images in here. You probably won't be able to see it too well. But when, they, when the TVR came out, they were very well known for this kind of flip paint that they would use or this flick paint, these pearls that would change color in the light. And of course, that started off a huge craze, especially within the Japanese community, people the Toyota Supers, eh, Toro Supras, MR2s, etc., would get in the bandwagon, paint the cars with this flick paint, and it was pretty darn cool. So, TVR Tuscan was definitely my favorite. It was definitely one that I considered buying. Um, I was looking to change my Nissan 300ZX convertible I had at the time. I invested into I invested some time to try and research the TVR Tuscan. Unfortunately, they were a little bit more expensive at the time. So going back about 2005, you get a TVR Tuscan for about 18,000 pounds. So that was a considerable amount of money for the age of the vehicle because they went up to about a 95, 96 for that. Um, and of course, when you factor in all the problems and stuff you get, it's a pretty tough call to go and throw your money into that. That aside though, we can all live and dream. The TVR are gonna be back in the equation. It's gonna be great to see what kind of cars they bring out. Um, so guys, I guess the question is, have you heard or seen or familiar with the TVR brand? And if you are, what's your favorite car? And would you like to drive one? That's, for now, that's MC Procrastinator out.